Hi there, I'm Karen Grete from Scandinavia Today. I decided to make a very traditional Norwegian potato soup. I grew up eating potatoes every single day, basically, in Denmark. And in fact, my parents had potatoes growing in their garden. I don't happen to have them in my garden, so I bought some, but uh, it's a very easy soup to make, and uh, I'm sure you'll also like it. And it'll be great for either dinner or lunch. So let's start making it. So the ingredients for my Norwegian potato soup is the following. Four potatoes which I peeled and sliced. One large onion and I also chopped that up. Okay, then I have two cups of milk, two tablespoons of butter, I have half a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. But use pepper according to your taste. And then I also have parsley which I'm going to use on top of the soup. So first of all, I'm going to boil the potatoes with the onions. But I should mention that potatoes go all the way back to 1750 in Norway. And actually, the priests, they would grow potatoes. And uh, they would also talk about them uh, from the pulpit. And uh, that is how the expression potato priests arose. So I think that's quite interesting. And of course, potatoes are still very popular in Norway, as well as in the other Nordic countries. And here I add the potatoes to the pot, which I filled up with water. Of course, you just want to cover up the onions and potatoes with the water. Don't want more than that, okay? So now I can start, and actually I also want to add the salt. So this is the first step, and here comes the salt. And now I turn on the heat, and I'm going to, when, when the moment it, the water starts to boil, I will cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes. And of course you want to cover it with a lid. So it has been cooking for 15 minutes and now I'm going to smash it. Now of course you can put it in a blender, whatever you have to smash it with is fine. It's, I guess it's faster to put it in a blender than doing it by hand, but either way works. So it has been smashed and now I add the milk as well as the butter. Here it comes. And of course I also like some pepper in it. So I pour in the pepper, mix it up again, and let's let it boil. And actually, the parsley you can add after you have it boiling. You can mix it in, or you can later on put it on top, whatever you prefer. So I'm ready to serve my potato soup. There we have it. And I'm going to taste it now. And this Norwegian potato soup is delicious for either lunch or dinner. And of course, you probably want to serve it with some crackers or a bread roll. That would work fine too. So, anyway, here I take a spoonful. Mm -hmm. Nice, I like it a lot. And of course, if you like different kinds of toppings, you know, you might like to add a little of uh, crisp bacon on top, I think that would be great. I'm not saying it's traditional, but it's just a suggestion. And I should mention that this is called potet soup in Norwegian. In Danish we say kartoffel soup. So it's a little different. Although all languages are pretty similar. And uh, mm, I like it the way it is, so, so it's good. And thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you also enjoy it. I hope to see you another day. And here you see my peach tree. There are lots of small peaches on, but I have to let them grow a while before I can use them for my baking. But I'm glad to see that I have so many peaches on my tree. I look forward to eating them. And here is a bush with a lot of flowers. All over, really big bush. I just love flowers. 
If this is your first time here, please subscribe to our channel because every week we publish traditional as well as modern Scandinavian recipes and this will help you to celebrate special events as well as memories with family and friends. And we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope to see you another day. Take care. Skål. Thank you.